हरे कृष्णा अटैचमेंट इज द इनेबिलिटी टू से नो वॉट एवर द कॉस्ट फॉर ऑल ऑफ अस वी एंगेज इन डीलिंग कॉन्स्टेंटली से इफ यू बाय इफ यू गो टू अ शॉप टू बाय समथिंग वी कंसिडर वॉट द प्राइज ऑफ समथिंग इज एंड वॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ समथिंग इज एंड इफ इट इज वर्थ द वैल्यू देन वी बाय इट एंड इफ इट इज इज इंट देन वी से नो टू इट नाउ दिस नेचुरल डायनेमिक ऑफ पेइंग अप्रोप्रिएट प्राइज फॉर एन अप्रोप्रिएटली वैल्यूड प्रोडक्ट this gets distorted when uh, our emotions get involved generally it is reason which is required to do analysis to do comparison to do evaluation but emotions when they get in especially if the emotions become imbalanced and dominating and they completely overpower the reason then if we like something then that liking becomes so obsessive that it distorts our capacity to reason and thus we may buy something which is very expensive and even if it is not that valuable so what happens by this is that uh, with our emotions getting involved we might pay too heavy a price for a too cheap a product and the same dynamic can happen in the relationships when we become attached to someone when we are attached at that time basically we find ourselves getting emotionally dependent on someone else's approval we want to please them we want to be in their good books at all costs every relationship involves us putting in some sacrifice but when we are attached at that time we don't consider the co- the the cost at all so thus to please so for example if alcoholic as a codependent then in order and in order to please the or the alcoholic or not displease the alcoholic the codependent may pick up the pieces after every episode of the alcoholic no matter how reprehensible be the behavior of the alcoholic and thus uh, unwittingly the codependent helps have ends up increasing facilitating and increasing the alcoholism of the alcoholic so this is of course an extreme as a example which is not very uncommon but the mahabharat also offers a example which is more in the arena of relationships familiar to us it is between dhritarashtra and duryodhan duryodhan was the first son of dhritarashtra and thus dhritarashtra was very attached to him so attached that in order to please duryodhan whatever it took dhritarashtra did that to the point that and dhritarashtra wanted to kill his cousins the the duryodhan wanted to kill his cousins the trashtra consented although he was meant to be like a father figure for his nephews he consented to the plots to kill them he even consented and gleefully uh, cheered on a vicious plot to have his own daughter in law disrobed in public mm, uh, gambled and won over in in public so this is the example of attachment and it is with this attachment with blindness to costs that the bhagavad gita begins the first verse of the bhagavad gita is atrashtra vacha dharma kshetre kurukshetre samaveta yutsavah mamakah pandava shaiva kimakurvata sanjaya so he all the both sides are his relatives his sons and his nephews he simply claiming the pandavas to be his own so the kauravas to be his own and pandavas as others so this indicates his attachment where he is ready to he is eagerly looking forward to the death of his cousins so that his own those who can be considered own will survive and we see that 
actually Duryodhana never really respected Dhritarashtra. It is an irony in relationships that when we are attached to someone, the more we bend backward to please them, the more they exploit us and disrespect us and make us back, bend backward further. So it was all to no avail. Dhritarashtra acted immorally, viciously just to support Duryodhana and Duryodhana never respected him. It is only after the death of Duryodhana and all his brothers that Dhritarashtra's eyes awakened. So this is the plight, the danger which we all can be in. And how we can become free from that attachment is shown in the Bhagavad Gita. Thank you. Hare Krishna.